Hi and welcome to UiPath Cloud Robots. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, setting up a tenant and the whole infrastructure for uh, Cloud Robots VM. This is very easy and I'm going to show you how. First of all, we're going to go to admin, click the plus sign to create a new tenant. We're going to set a name. We're going to select a region and then click next. For cloud robots, we're interested in orchestrator, but if you have other requirements, you can select them here. Next, we're going to assign a robot unit. If you do not have robot unit, you will have to uh, acquire an RU bundle and then assign them to your tenant. You can do this afterwards, but if you already have them, you can configure them in this page. We're going to click create. After this is done, uh, you have the option of selecting the tenant and choosing licenses, edit allocation, and then you can also modify the robot units over here. Uh, for cloud robots, VM and serverless, you only need robot units. The rest do not affect you if you do not use unattended or uh, testing or non-production licenses. We will now go to orchestrator. just make sure you're in the correct tenant over here go to tenant machines add a machine cloud robot vm we're gonna set, set a name here um, let's use demo pool and then for machine management details we're gonna select manual because we're going to create each uh, vm uh, on its own and we're not gonna let the ui path uh, cloud platform uh, take care of the VM for us. So select manual, click next, choose a uh, production and then according to your needs you may select a different VM size. I'm going to go with the standard one and I'm going to select uh, the UiPath uh, supported browsers on Windows Server 2019 over here. And the availability profile is gonna be fast. Uh, if you need guidance on all of these options, you can access our documentation and check it from there. Next, and then click finish. Now, in order to see what's going on with uh, all the VMs that we're going to create in the demo pool, we're going to go to manage access on the user that you're logged in with or the user you're going to uh, check the logs or alerts uh, you're going to click more actions and then click edit you have uh, two options here either you use an administrator account which i'm going to do in this case or if you just need to see uh, the alerts you're going to have to set the view alerts as well as view machines over here set a name and then click create this will allow you to see all alerts for uh, cloud robots i'm just going to click update with the administrator role i'm just going to go back to machines demo pool and then click add or manage vms i'm going to add a new virtual machine i'm going to add two machines here the first one is going to be vm1 now if if you click add more VMs, you can add another machine. We're going to set a username, just going to use demo and a really safe password. Okay, and we're going to get a summary um, for the amount of robot units that is going to be consumed um, by the two machines over here. And then we're going to click provision. Yes, I would like to create two VMs. The machines are now in a provisioning state and we can check their actual status over here by clicking the bell icon and click all alerts and then in the filters we're gonna set the state to all now we're gonna be able to see all the alerts that are coming from the cloud robots in about three to five minutes we're gonna have the machines provisioned and we're gonna be able to continue
now the machines are running as we can see here and if we go to machines add or manage vms we can now see them that the machines are running now we're going to do a remote desktop connection to these machines we're going to have to enable remote desktop connection from here we're going to get the message we can also check the alerts over here enabling remote and we will get another message when it has successfully completed enable remote desktop has been successfully completed for this machine now if we go back to the machines click add or manage vms again and then hover over this uh, informational button here it's going to say remote desktop info click it and we're going to get the uh, ip over here we're going to copy this one and now in your favorite remote desktop application you can put the ip and connect to the machine you're going to get a message just click continue Once logged in, you may uh, download whatever piece of software your company needs and then you can install it. I have already downloaded uh, SAP. I'm going to install this and continue once this is done. Next, I will log into the application. Yes. Once you have everything configured, we can go back, click enable accept jobs for the machine that we have configured. This will connect the machine to orchestrator. Also, you can see the status of the alerts over here. And we have enable accept jobs succeeded. We can go back to machines, demo pool, add or manage. And there is also the option to view the log here which should be very similar to the alerts log from orchestrator but this is more granular and you can see only the logs for the specific vm that you would like next we're going to go back to orchestrator tenant and we're going to upload a package that uses the application that we just installed We will go to folders. We will create a new folder for our cloud robot VMs that we will use. And let's name it demo, create. In this folder, we will add the user that will access the robots as well as the machines. We will add our demo pool. Uh, please take note that all the VMs in the pool will come with this pool which means that all the machines will be used when running something specific so if you would like to run the automation on all of your machines that's fine but you will need to install the application on all of them or you can use snapshots and create vms from that specific snapshot for uh, documentation on snapshot you can check the uh, official uh, doc on uipath next we're going to change the user 
so that we can log in with the user demo that we created when we made the first VM. And if we go to the unattended setup and click allow unattended robots to run automations as this user, we will click use a specific Windows user account. We will set the username and the password. Click next and update. Now we will go to demo, automations, and we will create the process from the package that we uploaded earlier. We will go next, next, SAP workflow, click create, and then click close. If you would like to start the process now, you can click start the job. By default, uh, it will run on this account if it's the only one uh, present in the folder or you can select it as well as the machine now if we click start the process is already running on the vm it's installing the package and if everything was done right the process should finish successfully one thing to note, if you are running it this way, similar to unattended automations, if you are already connected to the machine, you will be kicked out of your session. If you would like to, you can also connect directly to the machine while uh, the robot is running and see what uh, it's doing at that specific time. However, be aware that it's also possible to interrupt the running workflow. And now the job has finished successfully. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy our product.